Hello, everybody! It's EV 2021! We are stuck watching the piece, which has been nothing but rocket and race and small yeah. nuggets of racing. racing. The, the pre-show doesn't normally have anything interesting about what's actually in the show itself, so I'm not bringing that up on stream. Plus, the audio would make it a bit hard for us to get our pre-show discussion in. Yeah, the only thing that, uh, the things I note that I should note were brought up in the pre-show, one was some updates to one of the racing games. And actually, something I actually found interesting was they were discussing a what the term going go means for a game. Okay, so before we go ahead and officially get started with E3 2021, um, for those of you who haven't seen our E3 streams before, let me just quickly change change the scene real quick. Yep. Here's our. This is our scorecard, and for. Okay, for some reason the scorecard is not updated to the, to the newest, um, to the newest, to the newest, um, version. Give me two seconds. There we go. Um, we have... Thank you, uh... Thank... Thank you for the um, the host. Uh, I. Yeah. Okay, I. Can... Why can't I? Oh yeah, there is. It's right up there. I want to. I want to move the inert box. Can you? Right. Maybe if I move this, and then click on you. Right. Fine. Plan B. I will move you from here. And then I'll just add you back. Let me just do a quick, um, there's the, um, there's right there. There we go. Now I can actually see the alerts properly now. I'm so sorry about that, people. The freak OBS um, completely glitched up on me there. <laughs> but now that I... F yeah. But now that we've got that sorted, trying to get back to the main topic, we have three categories. Information, hype, enjoyment. Information is just as you would expect it. Well, how much information are they giving us? Is it is it all brand new information? Or is it information that they literally just gave us about, you know, like a day ago? This was extremely bad during um, last year when Microsoft and Bethesda had separate conferences. And yet they were dead. And, the, and yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, where like, some professor would have separate conferences and would still show the same trainer that they did in, you know, like, oh, we saw a trainer for Fallout, Fallout 76 in Microsoft's one. Oh, look, professor is showing the exact same trainer. <laughs> Thank the Lord. But yeah, that's genuinely what information is all about. Hype! 
Yes. Yeah, the, the, yeah, especially since Nintendo's the one who leaked something earlier. We'll get to that in a moment. Hype is just as you would expect. How did they? How much did they get us excited during the presentation? <laughs> Yeah. Finally, we have enjoyment. Some people are probably wondering, isn't having an enjoyment very similar? It is, in the strictest sense. But the main, the, the yeah, just that I mean, <laughs> yeah. What we mean by this is that while well, hype is mostly about the games that get us excited, enjoyment is about the presentation itself. Because you could have, you know, like, you could tell me that Phoenix Wright got, got into Smash, but you had the, present, the, the presenter be the dullest man on the, on the planet. That, that's... Uh, what? Ah. Uh, yeah. So, so, genuinely, enjoyment is about the presentation itself more than the games. Yeah, that that that's a good way of explaining it. Thank you. Oh, but who we will never cover ever again. Yeah. Uh, well, I would hope so. Each each category will get a score out of five. If you're feeling a bit unsure about about in between numbers, you can put in point five. But I'm not allowing anything like point two or point three because otherwise it'd be impossible for me to round up the numbers. Shut 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 it, you math nerd. <laughs> The, and then we'll add up all three scores, which will give us our total. We'll mostly be deciding unanimously on what the um, score should be for each category. Obviously, scores for each company will be a bit different than what it really should be, just due to the fact that, you know, like when it comes to Nintendo, we'll have like five people in this in this call. Whereas right now there's only the three of us, so scores will be a bit askew, but there's nothing much I can do about that. Now... With that being with that being said, guys, now that we've explained how the um, whole scoring system is going to work, I want to go ahead and give a big shout out to my friend Abel, who actually made the scorecard that you showed that I showed you just a few moments ago. 
uh, here is her t Twitter account. Please give her a follow if you can, you know, j just as a thank you. <laughs> and a second thank you goes to our good friend um, Leo Powell Tool, who who's the one that suggested to put a, um, an outline around the text on the scorecard, which helped made it ten times more readable. Yeah, I mean the last the last the last if we scorecard was also a lot better about it because we didn't have a an image for a background. We decided to color background. So, with the, now that all the fluff is uh, done, time to talk about Ubisoft. Let's also, keep... you dismissed uh, Braha announcing that Timothy is joining the Braha crew. Huh. That's wait, about that's wait, the only thing you missed. The Ninja Turtles? Yep, Timothy is getting added to Braha. Well, I know what I'm going to be playing at some point. Four days from now. Right. Just to, to start off with Ubisoft, let's get the elephant in the room out of the way. We know that Mario Rabbids is being shown. Oh, wait. Either by them or by Nintendo? One of the two. No, it'll be by them because um, Nintendo had actually leaked the website about Mario Rabbids and then took it down. So, 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 by... so I imagine that um, they were meant to put the website up after Ubisoft's conference, but someone accidentally pressed the switch. That or someone put in the wrong number for automatically popping it up. I am of two minds on this one. That uh, makes sense. Because Mania and Rabbids is a good game. You know, just in terms of like gameplay and such, and the writing is honestly pr pretty adorable at times. To be fair, every stuff has been known for doing good writing. Yeah. So we about the gameplay. They got good writing. But my main thing when it comes to Mario Rabbids is a bit of a, the is, no is a bit of a bias on my part because of course let's not forget the infamous quote since paper mario sticker star it is no longer possible to modify mario characters and yet Ooh. what is this yet we've got rabbit luma i think we're supposed to be next to to peach on the rabbit peach on the um Wallpaper for Sparks of Hope is like Rabbit Bowser, I'm not entirely sure. But we've got new we got new types of rabbits. We got Rabbit Numa, we got Rabbit Rosalina. It's like okay, so you're not allowing Paper Mario to make the original characters, but you're allowing Ubisoft to make these abominations. I think that's more matter of the, around it because uh, that's kind of the point of the, the game series that the Mario Rabbids crossover is. Meanwhile, it looks like that uh, Peach is going to be a literal tank in this new one because she's got a cannon with an umbrella. And Luigi's going to be a, an archer user. So that's going to be interesting. That kind of, I could see that making sense for Lazy. Yeah. Uh, Phineas, you contributing anything? Uh, sorry, not. Hmm. Sorry. I had to, I had to sorry, sorry, he's on up there. Um. <laughs> uh, we're discussing rabbits. I have no particular connection to any of this, because, like, I'm not a die-hard Mario fan. I like the I like the series, but I'm, like, not terribly offended by anything that happens to it. And I was not... And I did not get into the... And I never got into either Rayman or Rabbit, so I have no strong attachment there either. Yeah, that's what I was about to bring up next. If Mario and Rabbit is going to be revealed, then... 
Yeah, then Rayman's probably got zero chance. Because like we'll the, see, the, the, that, the rabbit, the rabbit first appeared in the game called Rayman Raving Rabbits, and ever since then, attention's been given more and more to the rabbits just because like minions, they're incredibly marketable. They're, they're quite. Yeah, at least the rabbits came out before the minion craze happened first. Did it? Yeah, by almost three years. Huh. You could totally put the rabbits and the minions together in one collab and you and I wouldn't be able to tell them apart. <laughs> and use them in terms of characteristics. Let's see what else is probably going to get shown. Most likely Far Cry 6. Which... Let's see what all games did. Let's see what all games does. What all uh, what all are Ubisoft's properties? Let me just double check. I'm pretty sure like seventy percent of this conference is probably going to end up being Tom Clancy. Again, so, I have actually uh, with the uh, Waving Rabbits and the Circle of Me. Yeah. Waving Rabbits was two thousand six. <laughs> the Circle of Me was two thousand ten. Ah, alright. Hey, at least I, I went the, the numbers for you. <laughs> but I didn't... Oh wait, I didn't... we also... Oh wait, that's all... Oh wait, that's right. Uh, we're also... We're also gonna be... How long do you think it's gonna be until the, until they reveal Just Dance 2022? Hopefully <laughs> at the very beginning. And just get it over and done with. I, 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 I would say I want it to be at the very beginning or the very end. This is Spikes over. Yeah, because we all because we all know it's gonna be somewhere in there. Oh yeah, easily. Watch Dogs probably isn't getting any 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 uh news because we all because we recently got Legion. To be fair, they uh, could, they I've been hoping that they're could, talking about updates. They probably will reveal a DLC pack or two for for Legion and what and Assassin's Creed Valhalla. There'll probably be yeah. some DLC for, for the both of them. But they've been yeah. they've been going off and hinting that they've been uh, talking about updates for both of them for this E3, so Which I have not which I have not got uh Watch Dogs Legion Legion and I've been debate and I need to look into seeing if it's worth it or not. It's not that bad from what I've seen. You yeah. could do much worse. I would love to see Rayman get a new game. I'm just very, um, I'm not confident about it at all. Especially I because it's Ubisoft and they're not the most competent. Because, but the, their, uh, Ubisoft does have a separate team for platformers and for their RPGs. They've also, so it is very possible. They've also already gone on record to say that, um, the Prince of Persia remake has been delayed later next year, and they won't be showing any footage of it this year's E3, which does disappoint me because I've been wanting to see more on that on that remake. The re- I- they actually have given a reason since uh, then, and the reason for that was uh, the engine that they were using uh, crashed on them, so they had to go and make a new one for it. So yeah, uh, having a, your gameplay engine break on you is a different reason to restart. Pardon me. <laughs> yeah, there is a good reason. <laughs> you know what? I mean, that's the reason. You know what? There's not much you can do when that happens. Actually, you know what? This is something that we all forgot. Beyond Good and Evil Two. Oh well, yeah. Like, if they don't show. Yeah, anything about Beyond Good and Evil 2, I think we can save the card in development hell. That already actually got cancelled. Yeah, it's probably one of the two. Well, because uh, the guy who was developing it uh, got laid off. So basically, if someone else had to pick it up by now, it's yeah. dead. This is dead. Oh, my dear. Oh, good. If it's that one, then rest that one. Ubisoft <laughs> is probably only going to be like 
Maybe an hour at the most. Maybe 40 minutes. Oh, an hour give it take. Windows, not now, please. But have but have you upgraded to Windows 10? I is been... it 10? Yes, this is 10. I've been using Windows 10 for like the past God knows how many years. Oh no, to be fair, 10 isn't, you know, too, too bad. No, I was just thinking that... It's so many better than 8 is. I suppose... Is there anything else from actual Ubisoft that I would like to see that they... I can tell you one thing I would like to see. As little of Tom Clancy as possible. <laughs> But that's not yeah, happening. even the EP uh, guys are joking that it's going to be nice about uh, Trump Clancy. So that's a bad when even the, the main E3 guys are making fun of it. Well, to be fair, that's exactly what happened two years ago. That was all it was. Well, that's what I'm saying. You know it's bad when even your main, the guys who are hosting you are making fun of you for it. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think of other Ubisoft properties. There's not really too many that come to mind. Pardon me. Ooh. All I guess I can say is that I just hope, um... That um, Ubisoft actually do well this year. Because we really, we really let them have it last time. Well, it's not our fault that they also gave us a free game. At it. So we're hoping for, we're hoping for a five, but we're expecting a one. Hoping for a three for them at least. Yeah, I'm hoping, <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping we can at least give them up to about a, you know, like, up to about maybe a 6 or a 7 overall. I aim for 3 because I figured that used to be probably better than what they were there last year, last time we did it, 3. Yep, I'll have to go back and check out the, the, that our last stream to find out what we actually gave them. It's a 1. They got, they got a 3 for overall, when we put it that way. Oh my Jesus. Can we give them like a two last year? I think year? it's worse than that 18 that we gave. Um, God damn it. Whatever that, that one uh, developer we actually banned ourselves from watching or seeing. Oh, you mean Devolver? Yeah, Devolver. By the way, we never gave Devolver a free overall. Yeah, I know. I Which know. Like, I, that's yeah, bad. I, I mean, I banned. <laughs> Yeah, I just forbid watching Devolver ever again just because of... They're nothing but shit posts and not even the fun kind. Yeah, like that, it, 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 it was irritating to watch, but not for the right reasons. It was just but aren't you excited for... Aren't you excited for Sony's present? Oh. Yeah, definitely Devolver ain't even in this E3. Oh. I know, that's what I'm joking about. I mean, the Volvo are in. They're just they're just not one of the ones that we are covering. It's if, straight up not in E3 at all this year. Yeah, EA, uh, EA, you know, like, oh yeah, guys, um, EA, uh, EA has their conference a week after E3, so I don't need to put them on the scorecard. Ah. Uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's nice when a it's nice when a two it's nice when a tumor like surgically removes itself. Also, uh, apparently EA got themselves hacked, and apparently uh, they got the source code of an engine which they've been using since two thousand 
and routine for about 90 percent of their games, which is certainly not good for any developer. Oh. But I hate EA, but even I wouldn't risk them on that, that on them. It's like, like okay, if you watch the isn't that's not so bad, but when you get the source code, uh, that's almost a given a free gateway into anyone's computer. Oh yeah, and if they have the source code for uh, what was it that you said that they got it for? They got it for two games, uh, FIFA 2021 and the Fast Fight engine. Meaning, hey, guess what? You can make your own battlefield. Granted, I don't know why you would, uh, but... Also, you maybe, can also... Maybe add... to make a good battlefield? Well, not only that, you can also uh, use that to break into people's PCs. Yep, so they're in trouble. Yeah, like, let's just... Let me put it this way. I hate EA, but I wouldn't even risk that on them. Like, that's bad? That's a little too bad. Right, I'll get... Let me get the... Yeah, but now there's so many memes going on at this point. Top four eliminated all friendly. I have it pretty much to bare minimum for me. There we go. We about 50 seconds left. Mm -hmm. Do not worry, folks. If there was anything major, I would have said it. <laughs> um, I guess there's a last thing I can point out, guys. Is that since Ubisoft is the only thing we're covering today, um, we actually will have time for a uh, multiplayer night later on tonight. Once other people get like back home from work and whatever. I'll probably be watching the rest of the E3 just so that way I can keep us up to date. Yep. It's eight, seven, oh. six, five, four. Three, two, Eight. one. Mm, okay, you be soft. Well, you. Start, something good. How how are you starting this off? Uh, okay, that's a day. That's a day. Nice logo. <laughs> oh my goodness! You have subtitles. Yep. They've been actually been pretty good about having accessibility, so they've been doing a lot of good stuff. I mean, one time crazy game. That's not bad. Actually, I'm not gonna lie, the set is pretty nice. Okay, that game is out the way. Yeah, at least it's only one Tom Clancy game. If you gotta deal with a Tom Clancy, I wanna deal with at least one and just get out of the way. Okay. I... Okay, that's actually a cool transition. Oh yeah, and that's, yeah, that's a nice. Is it one? I... I'm glad that this whole Rainbow Six um, story is about an alien thing rather than, you know, like, doing, like, you know, World War Five or something, you know? But, again, it's still, um... Uh, how to word it? It's still not a post-apocalyptic story. <laughs> I've, ne I've never really had much of an interest in Rainbow Six to begin with, so... In fairness, this is actually how the Rainbow Six books went, so... This is... At least, the Rainbow Six books are from before all the plus graphic stories happened. The most of those books came out in the 90s. Also, I completely, um... F forgot to say this. Information also includes the fact, you know, like, are they actually going to show gameplay rather than just CGI stuff? Yeah. But we can also give our uh, reasonings for our numbers, and we do that to 
the short card card. I think this looks pretty good, having read the actual books for this series. I've never read the book, so I can't. I won't be able to tell anything about. It. They said they're taking wide rarities, but that could be said. You could say that about almost any video game based is, off a book. Is it bad that these enemies remind me of the, of the Last of Us? Uh, from what I understand, the they were based off of the the these uh, aliens were kind of based off the same parasite that the. the that's what zombies are based off of, so... So at least it makes sense, because it's based off the same uh, stories. And then that trick trap, okay. Uh be nice. And for reference, why the uh, resistance works is because they're technically a fluid, uh, fluid like creature, and resistance tends to work well on most fluid stuff. This is definitely more sci-fi than other Rainbow Six games, at least to my knowledge. Following the Rainbow Six storyline, having actually read the books, that the Rainbow Six universe is very complex, so let me put this way. There are five timelines in the book versus uh, the Rainbow Six theme. This, they have finally just now reaching the fifth timeline in the Rainbow Six continuity for the games. Okay, and September. Yes. Oh, it's coming to pretty much everything. Well, that makes sense. Because you have to switch. Like EA. Now, I know you must have a ton of questions after seeing that trailer. And you have answers as well as the full gameplay walkthrough coming up. Oh my god. Wait, they're actually going to show gameplay. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate them cutting the bullshit off. <laughs> With me today in Montreal, I have Bruno Lalonde, our lead technical director, and Alicia Fautier, game designer, to help walk us through. Alicia, what can you tell our players about Extraction? Extraction is a one to three player co op experience. You might think you know what I'm, you're getting into since this is going to be some of your. I'm not going to lie, I kind of like her hair. But it's going to be completely different because this time you're not fighting against each other, you're coming together to face an unprecedented, evolving alien threat. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm not gonna lie, I do like that they're actually focusing on co-op rather than competitive. It sounds like they're basing the gameplay off of a Resident Evil upgrades in Raccoon City. Until they're safely recovered, squad you and your squad are gonna have to come back together to get back in there and get them out. Okay, okay, that's a okay. decent idea. Every time you go in the containment zone, you risk losing all your progress and upgrades. So stay on your toes and wait. Okay, so that that's a lot of pressure losing everything. You know what? It's a fair way to work at it, okay? You get missing action, you lose everything. Interesting. Within the containment zone, the alien ecosystem is in a continual evolution. As incubation nests and their sprawling tissue spawn procedurally, taking over the front area of the map and reaction to the player present. They've got they've got a lot of ideas. I just, I just hope that they you know that they've you know that they're executed well. 
What are we facing off against? Well, the black gulag sprawl is probably, probably the first thing you Stop bad. It spreads sprawl. once your presence is detected, slowing your progress and helping the art team. Some of the other threats you may have seen in the trailer are the long range fighter, the explosive breacher, the shape shifting tormentors, and the attack. I almost thought that said Dementors for a moment. Anyway, so you definitely act like the Dementors in some situations. And for those wondering, uh, the most of the plotline is mostly the same. Is Alaska was not the first uh, place. They actually made this out from Canada. Because apparently in the books, the entirety of Canada got infected at once. <laughs> it's like, holy shit. <laughs> well, I mean, I'll be fair. At least they put the place that was TV close, it made more sense. Okay, here but yeah, I've been, I, I, might, I might be a bit more excited for this. I've always want, I've actually, I actually do want more. I actually have been wanting more, uh, more co-op, okay, uh, more co-op games. Yeah, I can I can completely agree. Like again, this isn't your typical, you know, go going going to Germany or, or you know go going to Nazi territory, etc. There's there's you know there's there's something different here. And it, and you know it's got like a you know, rogue-like elements with having, if you get captured, then you have to wait for your teammates to save you, but you'll lose everything. You don't even have to do that, apparently. Oh, and I also like that it's, and I also like that it's, and I also like that you're doing, uh, and I actually like that you're doing, that you're actually doing, uh, jobs and not just walk in, shoot everything in sight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, like they just said, you know, like you've got you got to use stealth in this area. Don't have to if you don't. I don't want to. I bet you, but probably be very detrimental to you in the team. Yeah. Okay. It'd be something. I'm not gonna die. You. You've got my attention. <laughs> The same. Okay, may they take downs. Which, for the record, was not possible in the books. You touch them and uh, say goodbye to the operator. <laughs> yeah, you're actually having to think your way through, through these, um, through, through, you know, like, through, you know, through this mission. Um, there's actual tactics going on here. Wait! So sort of similar to I'm um, Never Dead 2, where you get like safety zones after so often. Okay. Obviously, the alien designs are very generic, but. There's only so much you can do with alien designs after so many years of like alien movies and you know just aliens and media and so on. Well, no, it is. It's also like from the 90s, so uh, yes, this is one when there wasn't where the you didn't have much of the script. These are actually pretty good based off of the both descriptions. They're spot on at least. 
I can tell what they're going for. A holographic gun, you know, bait. That's great. Makes sense. You know what I think? You know this. You know, I can see this actually making for a decent, like, action action war. Yeah. Yeah, this honestly could. Because, like, again, it feels... I get the feeling that you can't just... That you can't just run through... Run past everything or shoot... Or just shoot everything. It's no, probably going no, you're, for... That's why I was having to... Uh, compare it to Operation Raccoon City from Resident Evil. That's, this is the feel I'm getting from it. It seems like you're actually having to, you know, like, use your, your brain in in this game. Which, which I do appreciate. I, I do want a bit more in-depth look at the, um, at the HUD, because, you know, you can, judging by the HUD that we've seen so far, which I assume has been made transparent just for the sake of showing as much gameplay as possible. No, yeah, it's also it, in beta, so. Yeah, I would love to, you know, like, you know, you can't really see how much ammo and stuff you have, you know? Oh. Stealth. For the enemy too, that's unique. Yeah, okay, so one of the enemies can make the other enemies invisible. That's, um, worthy in. Okay. This, this makes me think a lot about the, um, I guess you can say the Alien franchise. Yeah. Although with, although with how the infect, with how the infection looks, I'm honestly getting more Resident Evil vibes. Yeah, uh, it's kind of a mix of the, the two, isn't it? Yeah, well, the first uh, book was around the same time that the first Resident Evil came out, so. Because, like, like, again, it, this this looks this looks kind of this makes me think this makes me kind of a. Cause like I'm get, cause like this kind of reminds me of like the mold of like the E type mold from a, from seven and eight. Yeah. You heard it. A rescue mission is underway. React. They'll need you. Okay. Operators. No. Nope. Yeah, man. This. Okay, you got my intention. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, they didn't spend too long on that. Well, that was a segue. Ten years ago, Rocksmith redefined music learning by introducing the first. Oh, Wait, are they, putting, are they putting back guitar? He will. No, because Ubisoft owns Rocksmith. EA owns a uh, guitar hero. Uh, you're thinking of the one uh, company for Guitar Hero server. Uh, so... Okay, I can... Um... Uh, server A... Uh, you're not gonna like this case. Uh, Guitar Hero is owned by Activision. Okay, I seem to get um, these things mixed up quite often. Uh, I mean, I don't blame you. They, they are, because it's good. Yeah, that's how I was looking up who actually owned it. And it's Activision Blizzard who owns it right now for Guitar Hero. So have fun with that, Severin. <laughs> you see, Guitar Hero, remember, you're just avoiding Blizzard and Activism.
Oh. You know, I thought that the Guitar Hero was like the first console game to really do like um, guitar stuff, but I guess I was wrong. It was very close between Rocksmiths and Guitar Hero. Like, I think they were off by a month of each other, so... You're... It's one of those things where it really just depends on how you look at it and what country you're looking at, probably. A oh, PC closed beta. Huh. Also, I think for Rocksmith, they're talking about, like, actual guitar work and not, like, this, the... Pressing buttons. Okay, so it seems like Ubisoft's main structure for for E3 is to do a, a short trailer, then have the developers talk a little bit about it, and then go into gameplay. A subscription. Ubisoft has actually been common for Western guitar Smith games because. Because they're, they're not just getting like the their songs, because they're also trying to get like for something newer games, they're giving you actual charters and stuff like that. So you're not just getting the game and songs, you're also getting like actual help from actual musicians and stuff like that. So okay, admittedly that's nice that you don't need extra peripherals. That I don't mind. Yeah. But again, I don't like the idea that this is a subscription service. It's your uh, mic is picking up your speakers again. I mean, I won't be surprised. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised that it has this a large library at launch, considering how much how many songs they have licensed for Just Dance. How the artists originally played them, and each week we release a steady stream of new authentic arrangements to keep growing that portion. Oh, every week? That's a bit ambitious. Okay, okay, user customization, I'm... How long do you think it'll be until someone makes Megalovania? That's the they don't already I, have it there to begin with. I, 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 <laughs> I, I give it uh, 24 hours on this. Assuming they don't already have it. It'll <laughs> be either already there or 24 hours. Oh. Nah. No way. So I happen to just bury cats, so that's why I like, cover it before it gets too crazy. Okay. The, I mean, I gotta pay you, for it. That's not bad. Yeah. If you wanted to actually learn how to play that the guitar proper, this actually does seem like a you know like a, a good tool for it. Yeah, and that's what guitar uh, Smith has always been. Rock Smith has always been about. Like it's been actually the how to play the instruments over the actual winning the songs. I just hope that the that the subscription price isn't too high. On average, for the other Rocksmiths games, it's been about five dollars per month. But Silver, they need it, they need to get one million dollars. I mean, let's be fair, folks. For uh, this, you're not just getting like actual for buying the music. You also technically gain uh, tutors and stuff like that. So you're actually gaining skills out of this. So me. Let's. I'll give you this one. You just have to. Oh. Yeah, this is. Oh. It's a sports combination. Yeah, there's one thing been hit. They were hitting that during the uh, start of E3 thing. Okay, and again, they didn't spend too long talking about 
uh, locksmith. That that was about like what five ten minutes. Ten minutes. Yeah, it's basically a fusion of air gliding, bicycling, and I. That's about it. You might well, get some other stuff. We just saw a release date. Share your creations yep. Stay on top of the latest news. Oh, we're just going right into gameplay. I thought this was a CGI trainer. Oh, right, both. Hey, we see. <laughs> oh, good. We got. We got. We got. We got snow level. That. I am happy with snowballing. Oh. Okay. So, so like a king of the hell type thing. We don't need to have it to still earn points. Interesting. Oh my word, I can already feel the sense of speed like going down. Hey, Zav, you have me on this game. <laughs> now, some might say the best parts of the Republic can be found in the city playground. We've got modules that you can slay for days. Wait, is this, is this fucking free room? Yeah. Wait a second. Maybe you're all about living on the edge. Oh. Press, you gotta earn those stars. Having the right rig is important too. And we've all got our preferences. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I knew that one. <laughs> you know what? It's having they're having fun with it. Mm -hmm. Like racing, like. With uh, night suits, that actually looks genuinely fun. I'm not gonna lie. All right, I get it. Sometimes you just want to explore and bathe in nature. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that yeah, that that is definitely free room. That's right. Everything you do counts. Getting those stars means more rad to be. And the Republic. You guys told me, Ubisoft. Congratulations, I want this game now. I don't care the price. <laughs> Shut up and take my money. <laughs> exactly. This or you can turn on auto landing. I just hope that this okay. actually this. I just hope this actually turns out well because I remember the last time we had hype for an EA Sports title. Uh, I think. Yeah, this is also it, Ubisoft, which is known for doing relatively. Decent on most of their games. What was uh I'm trying to remember the name of it, um, it was the one on like PS4 that was like entirely winter based. <laughs> I can't tell you anything about most EA games. When we say fun with everyone, we mean it. Look at all these riders. That's platform piece? Show me the consoles. Oh. Oh my. What on earth? What on earth is that? Like. Then, like, rock, like, rocket, then, uh, bomb sneds or something? Don't keep yourself <laughs> waiting. Riders Republic is coming September 2nd, and you can pre-order now and claim your right to rip. Okay, so we've seen some of our favorite Rainbow Six Yeah, my, yeah, I got my interest in Ubisoft, and you kept it. You know, ever since Crimson Heist, we're still trying to clear all those pesky Flores drones off the map. Year six is off to a blazing start, with Siege passing two hundred thousand concurrent players a few weeks. Oh, it's not bad. 
If you haven't joined in yet, 2021 is the perfect time to drop in. Two hundred K for the current players. That's not bad for a relatively new game. Oh yeah, not bad at all. Okay, here's something that I'm not gonna really care about. Yeah, but we're still getting relatively quickly out of the way. Six years into our journey with Siege, we are humble and grateful for the enthusiastic community that has supported this project. So today is all about sharing quality of life development okay, to course, dramatically improve player experience. With the community growing every day, we've been hard at work finding ways to improve your ability to play with your friends and meet new players. On June 30th, we are unifying our PC and cloud-based platforms through crossplay and cross-progression. See, how's the city have been handling this game? I'd be interested to see. In early 2022, crossplay will be available between PlayStation and Xbox platform. Okay, yeah, crossplay is nice, I guess. I mean, let me see. I assume that's probably Sony holding them back on that. Because my sauce has never been an issue. Hey, Autumn, can you do a quick search for me on them, um, like, on like Windows Sport Game PS4? What games? Or Windows Sports? Yeah, yeah, just just Windows Sports. Is a feature a lot of you has been anticipating, and we are thrilled to see the enthusiasm its announcement has inspired. From your amazing fan art to the awesome cosplays, <laughs> the Rainbow Six community is the lifeblood that I I I've seen you not talking about this game. Thank you enough for your support. Uh, let me see it. You, the siege keeps evolving and growing. To wrap up, here's a brand new animated trailer starring Thunderbird, the yeah. new defender joining Team Rainbow. Check this out. Check this out. Nope, that that wasn't it. That was the first thing that popped up when I went that went through games PS4. Yeah, it was um, it was like a multiplayer one, in that you know that was meant to be basically similar to what we just saw. That finger, what does this mean? <laughs> this jacket was my father's. Dagu Wakal, Uchaku, the creator of Star has. Many meanings. Love, wisdom, bravery. Sweet skin. I need to get this bird in the air. You try to get some rest. Yo, the bird. Steep, that was it. Okay, thank you for finding that. So yeah, it just looks like to be steep, but better. Me meanwhile, the, the, this animation is pretty gorgeous. <laughs> That's a fair answer. What happens next? Why not ask her herself? New projects aren't the only thing to be excited about this year. Uh, it's, it's pretty nice to, 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 to see, um, a, you know, like, a cool animation. Also, yeah, I just saw the turtles there. Yep. I uh, don't really care about For Honor. Because, you know, knife, um, knife subscription games are seen as a bit from there. Well, games games as a service, I guess you can say. Track Mania is actually fun, though. Ah, oh, so the. When oh. I have updates. Oh, look, it's. Oh, look, it's Mario Kart Fall Guys. <laughs> yeah, not wrong.
I do like that these turtles are based on like the um, 80s ones. Eighties one is overrated. I mean, you're not wrong. They did the 2003 turtles are like the the, the two best ones. Only because the Nickel William ones were badly given scripts. I still stand by my 2012. The 2012 ones had bad scripts, but they were good. They were good characterizations. Oh hi, Aiden. Well, well, welcome back. <laughs> I give you that the 2012 toes had good stuff going for them, but he's had bad riders. So those three probably had the best of both worlds of having this the right amount of hype and good riding. Oh, hello, Tom Cratty. Okay, so that's number three. I was about to say, should we start a Tom? Should we start a start? Should we start a Tom Clancy counter? Well, to be fair, this one is actually a, one that is live, so I'll give it this one. It does fit with what they're talking about. Oh yeah, it is the 20th anniversary for okay, Ghost Recon. I okay, guess fair. I could be a bit lenient. Fair, yes, I will give him that one. Oh, here's our stance. Here it is. <laughs> Yes, there are. Stop. Stop. I, appreciate, I appreciate them having the homeless association joke there. <laughs> Stop. Stop lying to people. There are very much bad dancers. Announcing Just Dance 2022. With a daddy, daddy special guest. What? Who did they bring on? Uh, okay, I have literally never heard of you. Me either. Yeah, it, I've heard of him because of Ubisoft. Is this just a, Ubisoft? Are you just Ubisoft? Is this just a, is this just the cheap cash in for the month or? Yes. He's one of the next uh, hottest uh, hop artists. I will give you this one. He's at least got a good voice. And got good music. One minute. If you listen to the radio, you probably heard a few of his songs, but that's bad. That'd be the only thing I could give you uh, for Phineas. I'm not sure about uh, Silver. Because I know that he's pretty popular here in the US, but I haven't heard about him in the rest of the world. Okay, yeah, so this is... Okay, you are severely cringe, my dude. Yeah, Ubisoft, you're just... Are you just yeah, doing this? this? No, this is just this one guy. That's just his personality. Like, I've seen a few interviews of him, and this is how he is all the time. It's over. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the guy himself. I don't wish the right person about it for being Kinsey. <laughs> okay. November. Okay. And? I think there's other, I think there's other things coming out in November which will prop so I don't know how well it will do. I don't think they're expensive. I don't think they care about it doing well. Because it'll sell well no matter okay, what. Here comes so here comes Assassin's Creed. Yep, time for Assassin's Creed DLC. That's a very quick uh, gameplay so. Biggest launch for any Assassin's Creed game to date, and we have you to thank for that. 
Becoming Eivor, a Viking leader going on a quest to fight for a new home, is an adventure that resonated closely with <laughs> many of you. I certainly had fun. Why are making sure they're not covering, they're covering their bases with the... ...world events that left me with memorable side <laughs> Thank you, Eivor. We're amazed to see how you dedicated yourself to the Viking lifestyle. You've made more than 300 million raids in total. And built more than a hundred million buildings in your city. That's a lot for uh, yeah. a relatively short game. Yeah, but Hallam seems to have been re seems to have been a really big hit. You know what? I'll give that one, Ricky. If you did a good one. New quests, and even whole new game modes, such as the river raids update. Ooh. Oh, good. Okay. So they actually actually listening to the community. You know what? Fair. If you're actually listening your your player base, then yes, I agree. You earned the respect to me. I do not know that actually listening to feedback. Don't <laughs> we better than we save for EA. And folks, I speak as someone who supports EA through crapping uh, uh, Pogo. <laughs> it's pronounced Ireland, but okay. Whatever. Could be the third tongue. Oh, you're good in Paris? Damn. Mm. Okay, that, that, that. So, so you get like, essentially, you get to um, explore three different countries. I hope so, if you're going to France. This summer. Oh, that's closer than I expected. It's on the game, you get this for free? Not bad. Sounds like a neat idea. You earned me. Looking to supplement your knowledge, the Discovery Tour Viking Age will have you covered. Assassin's Creed Valhalla doesn't stop here. For the first time on an Assassin's Creed title, we'll be supporting the game well into its second year. Oh! Well, this year will be a very active year for the game. We're already working on more expansions for next Damn. year. Damn! Something tells me that Eivor is not done with Odin yet. <laughs> not... Okay! I'm glad that... Got my interest! It's, it's so nice to see Ubisoft giving the Assassin's Creed game the, the, the time it actually deserves, rather than just dropping it, you know, like, one year later. That's actually really nice. So you've seen some great games from us. But we also have news about the movies and the Good. series we've been working on. Our Ubisoft film and television team has some exclusive content to share. Up first is Mythic Quest, the workplace comedy set in a game development uh, streaming on Apple TV. That's not bad. Uh, you haven't watched the second season yet. They got to do it. What you've been missing uh, before the upcoming season finale. Speak of Mythic Quest, hey, hey Johnny, why don't you get on that to find a fancy Mythic Quest? <laughs> He's got to do five first, because five came out before Mr. Quest. You have to remember that six was, or, was made the holdover fans until six came out, so. I like that joke. 
What's the difference between Ops Minus and uh, Must Be Manipulating Us? It's a whodunit with teeth that'll be coming to theaters June 25th and on demand July 2nd. Hello, everyone. I am Josh. Hi. It was often doing an actual in theater movie. I'll oh, write that a uh, needed background. Okay, so this is like a horror movie, I guess? Probably. We need answers. They didn't disappear. What? It's not Emerson Flint. It's one of you. Oh. Okay, well, look, we don't understand. I'm afraid I can't do that, Ranger Wheeler. You could be one of them. One what? of what? I like rogues. A what? A werewolf. <laughs> the rogues are apt. <laughs> so, this is werewolf, but as a movie. Horror mi mystery. I raised it based on the game that popular game we never heard of. Laughs in town of Salem, laughs in Among Us. I mean, Among Us was basically, you know, just a space version of Werewolf. You got me into Supersoft? Eh, uh, not me, but then again, I'm not a horror person. I bet you know how horror this it is. I think this looks more like a mystery than it is horror. Yeah, that's why I, 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 me and Venus will probably give you the answer on that one. After all, even the most vile tyrant is a star of their own narrative. When it comes to memorable villains, no one does it better than Farley. Yes, I'll give you that one. Okay, so. Uh, you sure about that? I mean, Edge, sure I, mean, no? I mean, Edgeworth got his own rival spin off, and that was brilliant. He's not a villain, though. Always making new friends. Donnie, you're late. We'll give Edgeworth more anti hero than villain status, Silver. Okay, fine. The, uh, the, the villain cast of uh, My Hero got their own arc. So we're should... talking, they were talking about video games. Because <laughs> I can't really think of many member of villains besides Bowser and Eggman. Ah, uh, Sephiroth. I would say he's more of a meme than memorable. No, I'd argue Sephiroth's pretty memorable. Are you sure that you survived? Challenge, challenge. Except, except when he caught, when he caught a big, bad, 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 bad,
Now it's time to bring you home. I don't want this. I don't anymore, want this Papa. anymore, Papa. We have no choice. We have no choice. Let them go. Let them go. They can work. They can Make work. Rebeetle. Make Truth. Rebeetle. Truth or lies. Or lies. Truth. Truth. They could. They could. They could. They could workers. They could help. They could help. Rebuild paradise. paradise. Thirteen years old, and Diego has, and Diego has such, such compassion, compassion for his people. For his people, these these fish, we will we will catch and release. Now what? Oh, of course. They really make you hate the villain. Yeah, they really the, will. If they wanted you to hate the villain, then they did a good job. <laughs> oh, are you going to do it? Oh, are you going into gameplay? Another disturbing lesson from Anton Castillo. Passed down to his son Diego, as he groomed him to become the future ruler of Yara. The most important part of crafting a Far Cry villain isn't the fact that they're evil or shocking. It's that there's someone that could sit across from you at the dinner table and charm you into thinking that everything they believe, no matter how twisted or horrifying, could be absolutely true. That's the secret to Anton. I gave him that one. He's got a point. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, when creating Anton, we had quite a lot to live up to. Because when you think Far Cry, you think about its rich legacy of villains. Which makes today a very special day for Far Cry fans. Wait, Not why? Only did we get to see into the mind of Anton Castillo, we finally get to unveil some of our post launch plans. Our dream was to honor the Far Cry villain's tradition and introduce a brand new experience. You haven't even released number six yet. To see the other side, go further down the rabbit hole, and it's up to you. Find a way out. Wait, are you gonna let us play as the villain? They're probably gonna let you play as the sun. <laughs> Wait, that, 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 those, those were the previous. Wait, are they letting us play as the previous villains? Oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, they are an action that has praised the previous oh. villains. If, I think they have just earned a lot of people's interest. Is this a test? A dream? An opportunity? And I will not waste it. That is actually a really cool idea. It pays homage to the series as a whole. And actually lets people do what they've been wanting to do for a while, as in be the villain. I think they have earned a lot of people's paychecks for the last next coming year. Also... Really? Oh, you're putting Blood Dragon back? Very interesting. 
can't wait to get my hands on this one. Is this going to be the one that was leaked? Most likely. Well, yep. Well. No. Wait, yes. Yep. I can always tell based off the sip. Yep. This is, yeah, this has got to be the finale. What the fuck? That is disturbing. Bro, what the oh, fuck did you make? Nothing wrong. <laughs> Shoot the fucker. <laughs> so it's so, so so bad. So it seems that like we're actually exploring the galaxy. I mean, how else are you gonna introduce Rosalina? Oh. Thank you. That's actually an yeah. that's actually an intimidating villain. Mm, Thank yeah. you. Yeah, it'd be nice. A daddy, nice one. Trying to get our guns. Ah, oh, so Mario's literally gone from a one-armed cannon to to double um like double guns. Hi, Rosanita. Oh wow, the laziest rabbit, rabbit so far. So what, is every paper counter gonna get their own special type of Numa? That's creepy. What the shit? Hey, it'd be something you really why got does, my interest. Why does that feel like it might be a phantasma? You know what? Good point. Okay, so what are you going to tell us about this? It's the UK, isn't it? Yep, that is the most definitely... I'm super proud of this new game. And I can't wait for you to experience it. Harris? It's fair to say that we did something quite surprising with the concept of Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. <laughs> and for this project, we didn't want to stop there. Okay. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was pretty, that was pretty funny. Hey, the first thing is that we not as born as last year's. Expanding our universe on a major scale. This time, it's not just the Mushroom Kingdom. There is an entire galaxy to face. I would say that they gone from world to this other galaxy. Rabbit Rosalina and other surprises. On their quest to repel evil across the galaxy, their spaceship will bring them from planet to planet. They will be facing a powerful villain. Cursor. Cursor. Okay, I like the name. Our heroes. Uh, makes sense. Face the character. But they won't be alone. By their side, they Farts. will their new ally. Huh. Are you real? Wait, is this just a cheap? A is this just an attempt to ride off of to try and ride off of a certain Sega re-release? Probably. Uh, 
Uh, are you? Did you? Did you fuse rabbits and? Did you fit? Did you fuse rabbits and lumas just to get your? Probably. Just. Either way, it's they're, 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 not, they're not even called rabbit numas. Which, you know, is really what they are. I don't know why they, they felt the need to, to, you know, like to basically say, oh, hey, these count as a whole new species. That is not the case. I mean, it could be, well, as you said, it was a fusion, so it might be a matter of, it's a difference of a rabbit being a, being made into a numa and it's being a fusion of the two species. But yeah, that, so I feel like that one. feels like their attempt to recreate the wisps. Yeah, I, I'll get them this much. I get them them being a different species from the other rabbits. I was about to say, please give us some. Well, this is a pre after we? So, all those people who were doing. <laughs> okay, models look pretty nice. I mean, they're probably just reusing the old models for the older characters. Wait, wait is this full 3D rather than isometric like it was in the original? At least we'll repeat this, this build of it. Okay, so the- oh! So the- So they've made it more of an action RPG than the next com style, then- Okay. Whoa. Uh, Jump in your fist. Who is that rabbit based off of, I wonder? Maybe an RPG character? It could also be uh, just straight up like based off me. It's like we're a special move. Ooh. Did, did that, did that uh, rabbit Numa just cast freaking Meteor? Yes, it did. <laughs> Besides, you have got wait, more. Wait, that's not the finale. <laughs> Shit, that's a good way to end it, there. Obvi and obviously, Silver. Obviously, that was Max Fuller. Hi everyone. As you have seen, where is this one this person? Me or is uh, me or Sour? No, Max Flair. The uh, no, obviously that was the Dynamax move, Max Flair. I have not seen that, so... Yeah, everyone did seem to enjoy what they were showing off. This guy? So proud of our industry's ability to bring together millions of players from around the world to share memorable experiences and moments of joy. This is one of, one the, of the real powers of video games. And it is what motivates everyone at Ubisoft to do our best. Finally, finally my, sincere my sincere thanks, thanks to you, to you the players. We appreciate, we appreciate the trust you place in us. You place in us. Your, involvement your involvement in our, in our games, games community keeps them growing and vibrant. Mm -hmm. We want to create original, enriching, long-lasting game worlds. And your contribution, feedback, and support makes it possible. Makes it possible. We, also we also are proud that, that some of the biggest names in entertainment, in entertainment our trust creative our creative teams, teams to develop games, games within, their within their universe. Yes, that is a very hard thing to do for Nintendo. So Mario plus Smash of all developed in collaboration with Nintendo, where everyone's favorite Mario and Rabbids characters for return an for an all new, new adventure. And speaking of great partnerships, there is one more exciting thing we would like we would like to show you today. Oh, it is a glimpse of the amazing journey 
that awaits you in one of the most beautiful, red dangerous places of all. Brought to life by the latest, by the latest version, version of our, version snowdrop, of our engine. snowdrop engine. Snow? I'm excited to share this first look with you now. So this is a collaboration thing. Is this, okay. an, is this an is this an arc title? Yeah, because they just announced an arc title two years ago. Avatar? Yeah, Avatar looks like it. They're doing the game based on Avatar. A bit too little, too late to be on his knee. Hey. Don't give me more, this okay. looks, this looks beautiful, but why now? I went to the director of the Avatar series, not the people I mean, making weren't it. Doing, weren't they doing, re haven't they been recently doing re-showings of the Avatar movie? Uh, they been trying to I'm, make... I'm not entirely sure on that. I know yeah, that, because uh, they're trying to they're trying to release uh, the second uh, the sequel to Avatar this year, so I think they're trying to rebuild up hype. I don't know when the second one's coming out. I have to check that out. I know I do remember hearing Any about or fall. That's what their that's their official release. When the they're giving when this fall. Oh, did you just look that up just now? No, because I've been I've been following the Avatar series for a while. I guess to be fair, if you wanted to do an Avatar game, Ubisoft is probably the best you could go to given their experience with open world. So apparently they have updated it since I last what? They're giving the release date of December 16th, 2022. Okay. So that's it, but something happened. So if it's if Avatar 2 is coming out next year, then yeah, this is probably be a good way to ride the hype. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Good point. Good point adding on their part. It's like hey. Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. Yep, yeah, 2022, so yeah. Movie tie-in. Smart way to do it. Maybe not. Yeah. So yeah, maybe not the finale people were hoping for, but it makes sense. I don't think. I think Ubisoft did a lot better this year. They definitely yeah. did a lot better this year. I get the. Let me. I feel like it's. A, I feel like they're. I feel like the improvement this time, I think, just is a matter of having more content to, to work with. Yes. Yeah, be, be, because... And the only thing we had one week was this accident on it, and it was not even done by them, it was done by Nintendo. It was like, hey, you can't even win it, right? If we stop winning the fuck-ups they had to deal with. Because obviously, like, like, last time, they spent a lot of time on various uh, Tom Clancy um, games. And been, like each game, they spent like what 10 15 minutes on each of them. It was 20 minutes each. So, yeah, again, it's not like last time all they had was all they all they really had any like, I don't think they actually had anything relevant to say besides Tom Clancy stuff. So, Riders is something I'm very interested in. I'm actually somewhat interested in Rainbow Six. Surprising. I have my interest with this whole thing. Like, the only thing I probably won't buy is Death Dance. Are we watching the post show or no? Uh, probably not. Yeah, I'll probably have it up just so that way I can tell you uh, if there's anything popping up. Okay. 
Um, should we comment on? Should we grade it? Should we grade it now? Yeah, probably should. Yeah. Right. Let me switch uh, over. Let's, let's let me switch over to the uh, to the scorecard. Actually, no. I'll um. I'll switch over to the scorecard once we've decided and did on our actual scores. Well, no. I want to see what the three categories are again. Okay. Fair. Uh, we. Okay, so in, in okay, in, let's start with information. Actually, surprisingly, they didn't really retrend any old ground, any old you know old grounds that much, except for um, you know, n yeah, yeah, I yeah. Feel. Yeah, in in mo Yeah, we 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 haven't seen how much how Yeah, I can agree with these. It would be nice to see more of the UI to see how much like the ammo count and stuff takes up the screen. Like in, in, in a couple of games. Right, right, right. Those looked absolutely fine as far as the UI was concerned. We already know, we already know what the UI looks like in the Assassin's Cre in the Assassin's Creed. And. And I'm going to assume that as far as uh, Far Cry goes, it's just going to be using a similar HUD to the other, um, a similar UI to the other Far Cry games, especially when you're playing as the previous villains. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, now that I think about it, because they, they, they should just gameplay on mostly everything. So yeah, four seems four seems reasonable to me. Hype! I'm probably gonna be going. Uh, uh, maybe 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 three and a half. They didn't put you to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, Mine and Rapids definitely. Riders definitely. <laughs> Yeah, Rainbow Six has got my interest. I'm not sure if I'll pick it up, but it has my interest.
Okay, so we're all fine with three and a half. Yeah, like the, they didn't do, I'd be tempted to go with a, with a three and a half because there, there were some genuine funny moments like in the Manny Rabbids moment when they were um, take, but you know, the, the guy was like fighting over the gun. The only part that really was like sort of cringy was the Just Dance moment. And, Every, everyone seemed to enjoy, you, you know, everyone, you know, like, sp everyone that spoke during the presentation spoke with, you know, like, with a positive energy is the, the only way I can really describe it. But yeah, but I guess if you two would rather go for free, then I guess, you know, I'm, you know, then I guess we'll go for free. I was thinking, I was thinking, I was thinking three, three, three and a half to, to four, really. Because I, ge I got some, I got some genuine laughs. Honestly, the only reason I wouldn't allow you to say 3.4 is because uh, it's easier for me to get everything rounded up. Why? Okay, why? Why is um? I didn't want you to. Okay, looks like I'm going to have to make new um text sources. I'll do that off stream. Let's see, let's see, yeah, we said, we, yeah, we said, okay, so, yeah, so, yeah, not bad at all, not, not that bad to be soft, you, you got yourself an 11. Right. Okie okay. dokie. So. Evie has then um, gone off to a good promising start. Let's see. I believe tomorrow we've got, if I just do a quick double check right here. Yep, we... Yep, so tomorrow we've got uh, Xbox and Bethesda and Square Enix. They will be starting the stream at about 5.30 BST. I'm probably... That probably means... Wait, I'm probably an hour off on all of these, most likely. I'll to double check on them.
and I'm just gonna do Oh yes here it is I found all the um the time ta tables right here. So just to confirm for myself. Yep, it is si it is six o'clock. Yeah, I've actually got the correct time for once. That's good. So we'll be here at uh, five thirty in the UK. But later on tonight, we should be able to be playing some Super Smash Brothers. So. Keep an eye on our Discord. It is the quickest and most efficient way of keeping up when we. Yep, yeah, yeah. when we go live. And we shall see you all soon for a multiplayer night. And and if you don't join us, then we'll see you tomorrow for Microsoft and Bethesda. I was as a fantastic. I was as a fantastic night. And take care. Later.